Hello everyone, uh, good day and welcome to yet another YouTube video uh, by me, uh, Njabula Wright. And uh, I, before I continue with this video, with whatever I want to show you today, guys, I, I just want to take this opportunity and thank each and every subscriber who subscribed there and for those who spread the word about our YouTube channel, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Then it means I'm not talking rubbish. <laughs> so maybe to some it's rubbish. I don't know. But for those who subscribed, I thank you so much, guys. And thank you so much. And for those who joined me on the other side on my trading group. And I, I hope you do not regret that. I, I hope you're enjoying whatever we're doing then thank you thank you so much guys let's keep on subscribing let's keep on spreading the word about this uh, about this youtube please share the link to others who know that they really need some information on trading especially on volatility because i'm i'm specific i only do this and then someone asked me one day if ever he subscribed to if ever he joined he joined me on the mentorship uh, channel will i also will i only be doing this because he's into currencies and indices and then that is a topic for another day uh, i did respond but my response my response was this thing works in each and everything that is on forex and therefore i can only entertain you on the side with whatever you want to you want to trade okay so thank you so much guys for those who subscribe and stay put because more information to come oh i wasted two, two minutes to welcome you all okay let's get into it um what you're seeing now it's volatility 75 uh, on m15 chart i usually don't trade m15 i do not scalp at all i do not scalp i only use um higher time frame h4 and and d and d1 and stuff like that so but this week uh since last week <coughs> uh volatility only had one per perfect move therefore we we are forced to scalp because a week without a trade is something else so we are forced to uh, scalp and and then this is wh what i called for um a day before yesterday which is uh, which was monday yeah it was Monday, uh, the time I called for this uh, price was somewhere was somewhere here. So this was the projection that price will will come and um, uh, to m mitigate this candle here, the, this this the, this candle here, and then it should back up. Um, uh, as you can see, the move the that happened it, it came to our it came right here exactly here at the tip of the week and this is the sniper entry these are the entries that I like to call and these are the entries that that I enjoy these are the trades that I enjoy with my people and personal I enjoy such trades so this was a good trade and um, some took it and some didn't take it because we, we uh, i stay in south africa and 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 some, some of my members also in south africa so a big problem of load shedding so yeah it is not easy to to trade uh for especially this week in south africa but that is not an excuse uh, on why we we didn't call anything and um this was called and this went exactly as per projection okay so today this video it it will not be all about v75 okay this video will not be about v75 this video to today will be about volatility 10s all right uh, th th uh this video will be all about volatility uh 10 wow 10 one s okay yeah 10 one s so um i want to name this video trading volatility index without indicators trading volatility index without indicators so 
that's what uh, I, I wanted to that's what I want to name the, the, this video all right so let's start then as you can see we have a lot of colors here and a lot, lot of uh, trend line a lot of horizontal line so I'll delete everything so that I'll start afresh I want to take you step by step uh, from <clears throat> a higher time frame of uh, week, weekly chart up until M15 our entry time frame as you can see here we have V75, V10, S, V25, S, V10, V25, jump 10, jump 25, V10, 1, S and, and V100, 1, S. So all these are not for today. Today I'll only focus on volatility 10, 1, S index. And also in this video you'll see how your trading psychology is tested and you need to have a strong psychology mentally you need to be fit or whenever you need to trade the way I trade all right so as I said here I will delete everything and then uh, start afresh with the markups so that you'll understand why um, you why I marked those areas that that you saw uh, marked okay so here is a weekly time frame on on um, volatility 10 one s all right so my i left up only allows me to go uh, back as far as here and i'm so so and i'm sorry about that guys i don't know why but it allows me to go far back only up to this point here to 22 september 2019 all right one thing I want us to look at the first thing first we have to look at, at the direction of the market whether it's bullish bias or the or the bearish bias and one of the things that help us most to see that is to identify the break of structure on the on the upper price or on the lower price so in this instance we can easily identify the, uh, uh, the the break of market structure on the upper side which is here all right uh, <clears throat> this is the break of market structure here and it's a clean one this is a clean break of market structure and always at the break of market structure we look for an an ob that is an order block whether bearish or bullish okay so in this instance price broke into a bearish bias all right so what then do we do what do we then uh look for i i believe if my uh, laptop allowed me to go far back uh let's say maybe to january 20, 2019 because the only thing here i see september 2019 down here i be i believe that uh, the structure was ca coming from a bu from a bullish side hence uh, we have this week here uh, that came into the last bearish ca candle prior to the structure up that broke the structure and then it pushed down all right so that's what i believe i believe that structure was coming from um bullish side all right so um what then do do we do if if things are like this we always have to take the last bearish candle prior to the move up that broke the very same structure okay uh now let's <coughs> highlight that candle let's highlight this is the candle that i'm talking about all right uh let, let's use that khaki on weekly time frame let's use this color of that khaki all right so th this is the last bearish candle yeah this is the last bearish candle and then again another thing that that, that confirmed to that confirmed to us that this structure will be broken is this equal low that we see here this equal low is, is it's, it's an this is an an equal low which clearly shows that price still have to go down because there's an appetite of price to to go down to clear all the liquidity 
that that's below here for all those who are buying here have been cleared by this move here so so what what, what then do we see again immediately immediately a price came back to the very same candle with this week here <clears throat> okay price came with, with with this week here to mitigate what this candle here and then it should uh down in a very 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 big move um uh, mind you this is weekly time frame so if, uh, if ever you you entered from here if ever you took the trade from here up until here then i i don't know how, how much profit you will have paid according to your lot size but these these, these are some serious dollars here like some serious dollars here that will that that will have been made all right so we are we are done with this now we we now um understand uh that we have uh equal low here and then we have the last bearish candle one two uh, uh the it's only weeks here week w c i k not week w w w e k w i c k week okay so and then again the week here uh came to mitigate the very same candle here and then price pushed down all right so what then do we see here here uh, we see another <coughs> break of market structure right yeah all right yeah here we see another break of market structure here um uh, why a break of market structure here why not here why not here why not here and why not here because we have a lower low here all right uh we have a lower low here so which confirms that this is a break of market structure because a new structure was formed from from this move here in fact we, we have a low here so not not a lower low we, we, we have a low here a new structure was from was formed from this high low and then we have a higher high here yeah. okay so this is the break of market structure right here and always at the break of market structure we always look for one thing the the order block of that structure all right so the order block of the the order block here we, we will take the last bearish candle prior to the move up that broke the structure right will take the last bearish candle prior to the move up that broke the structure and then again one of the characteristics of an order block is that the the very same candle that we identify as an order block it must have an imbalance uh before it or uh it, yeah it must have an an imba an imbalance above or below it and and it must have it should have liquidity above or below it all right so that candle it become a very very strong op it become a very very strong op so in this instance the last bearish candle prior to the move up that broke the the, the structure <coughs> and uh, and in this instance uh okay and in other characteristics of a good order block is that that candle must have been engulfed by the following candle okay it it must have been engulfed so if all those three characteristics if you, if you see all those three characteristics then you must know that surely there you have a very very good order block all right and it must also be uh it must be big in body and small wicks it must have big body and small wicks therefore those are some of the most things that makes an order block to be very very valid all right so i'll show you during the course of the video so in this in this instance after this break of market structure here and then <coughs> we 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 will then <coughs> uh, we will then take the last bearish candle this is the last bearish move all right this is the last bearish candle here prior to the move up that broke what that broke this structure here all right so that's the last bearish candle prior to the move up 
that broke the, the structure here. And then, as you can see, price rejected here and then it, it moved down and then shoot up again. But why did price reject here? Okay, why did price reject here? Let's see with our weekly rectangle as we drag it further. So, this is why price rejected here. We now know why price uh, suddenly rejected here. So it's simply because price came to mitigate, came to mitigate this order block here. There, there's no there, there's no any other logic to explain why price came down and rejected. There's no any other logic to explain that. Price only came to mitigate this order block here. And then it, it pushed further up all right so that is why we see this uh, weak uh, uh, um, rejection here uh, I, I remember so someone asked about the weak uh, rejection in, in one of the videos uh, I think uh, she she said what does it what does it symbolize and how do we know that the, uh, the weak will reject that so some of the answers to you my, my sister is that uh, we, we do not know if price will will reject with a full candle or with a week that we do not know uh, nobody knows that and then um the only thing i can say is that the the weak rejection or the full candle rejection only reject at necessary places that's what always happens okay so i hope you are answered there <clears throat> okay so after price uh respected or mitig mitigated this order block here okay so we saw price going back up again all right after price was going up remember this is a formation of a new structure here all right this this is a formation of a new structure here so um so this for omission of a new structure uh we have a high here and uh, and that i can i will not mark uh i will not label everything i'll just point with the mouse and uh, and then please i i hope you are writing everything down or, or you'll come back to watch the, 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 this video again so we have a high here we, we have a low and and then let's see if this is a high or higher high all right so we'll take from the tip of the week here and then all right so now we have a higher higher all right we we now have a higher high right here okay we we now have a higher high why high high because it's higher than the previous side this is some simple logic as i always as i always been saying in all the videos this is simple english uh no need to crack your head why is this called this why is this called this this is a higher high because this high is, is above the previous high and this move closed above this high with a candle and there's a new candle that opened above it so there, therefore it co it confirms that this is a higher high yeah okay remember still we still have this last up candle remember, remember price i respected the last down candle with the week, with the week here so this last up uh, up candle here it has an imb an imbalance here one and uh, it has been uh, engulfed by, by the opposite candle two and then it it had an it had some liquidity here three so price have a very 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 good reason why it should come up here so there's an appetite of price again to come up to this candle here all right but in the meantime let's focus here what then again do we see here we see that price mitigated this um, candle here, right? And then at the mitigation of the of the of this candle, there's so, something again that happened here. 
I hope by now, if you, if you watched all my videos, you should know what, what I'm talking about. But if you're not aware, I'll assist you. After press uh, me it mitigated this candle here, we can all see price did not trade below this whole rectangle. So price failed to 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 trade below this uh, rectangle here. So we see the fail of break of market of ma market structure. So this market structure from low here it is not broken. So what do we have? We have a failure of market structure. And where does it start? It starts from this here up until here. Okay, so this is the failure of break. Uh, this is the failure to break the market structure. Okay, so this is the failure to break what market structure with with this exactly this week here. So price failed to break this market structure here. So what then does this mean? At the fail of break of market structure, price is likely to come and respect an order block at the at the at that fail of market structure. Price is likely to come and respect an order block at that fail of market structure. And where is that order block here? The last bearish candle prior to the move up that broke the structure and this last bearish candle, candle, candle it has been engulfed by the following and opposite candle so that's one of the characteristics of a valid order block so what then do we do then we highlight the very same last bearish candle and then it's all up to uh, and then we will take it all down to here why don't you here not here Be because we have the the week that's that's that started below than this um uh week here we we have a week that, that is below this week here so we go down up up until that week yeah all right so remember i said a uh, price has an appetite for this candle here what then is going to happen this is the uh, the pro the projection of of v10 w1s now only on weekly time frame we expect price to come and respect this uh, order block here and then this high here the, this high here, the close of the candle, you you can use this high or even this high here. Then we can debate that if you want to. But for 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 you to to be safe, come to the close of the body. Okay, for your for 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 your take profit, come to to the close of the body for for your take profit. So we 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 anticipate price to come down and respect this um, last down candle here, and then after that push up to come here. All right. So this is the projection of V17. Oh, did I say V17? Oh, I just love V17. Right. This is the projection of volatility 101x index on weekly time frame. So this is all I see on weekly time frame. So I can I can stop here. I gave you everything. So you 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 just have to dissect everything down to your entry time frame. Our entry time frame is M15, so you can take it to M5 or M1 if 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 you so wish. But I'll be merciful enough to go down to M15 with you. Okay, let's con let's continue then. <clears throat> We are we are on on weekly time frame. Now we we know what's happening, guys. Uh, always whenever you're trading, you need to have a clean chart. You need to have a clean chart. Don't have a lot of uh, indicators. Your RSI, your moving average, your vo your volumes, and then you, uh, don't don't have a, don't don't have all those things that, that are gonna confuse you. Just have a clean chart. As you can see, this chart is very clean. Very, very, very clean. Okay, let's go to 
daily time frame. <clears throat> Let's go now to daily time frame. We, we, we are on daily time, time frame uh, from uh, from weekly time frame. Okay. And then again, let, let me quickly sh show you something here that uh, at the time I was doing the, this for autos for for my group, I did not sh I did not sh show them. As I said that, that I'll, I'll show you I'll show you everything on the video. Okay. <clears throat> The reason why we took the, the 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 entire week, the entire previous week, r rather than the current week, is because of exactly su such things. Look here is a bearish week, but on weekly time frame, or is it on weekly time frame is bullish, and then on day on daily time frame, it's a uh, where were we? Yeah, we we're here. It's a bearish week here. Yeah. So it is important always whenever you cover the the weeks in an order block, whether bearish or bullish, check the previous week. Was it higher or below than uh, the current candle that you're taking as an order block? If yes, then go back to highlight it as well or, or, or highlight it to a point where it started or where it ended. It is always important as you can see here uh, we highlighted it to a point where it, where it, it, st it st started down here <clears throat> okay so this is our <clears throat> uh, daily time frame now so here on daily time frame there, there's a lot of things that's happening here there's a lot of things that's happening here uh, let, let me zoom out ju just once so, so that I'll show, show you everything. Okay. What then do we have on daily time, time frame? Why, why do we have this uh, price rejection here? Okay. If ever you are a retail trader, you know that there's a, there's a left shoulder, a head, and then the right shoulder, and then you sell here. Then why why do, why do why do they say that? I honestly don't know why they say that. Okay, <clears throat> so as you can see here, the first thing that I see here is the break of market structure, and 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 where's that break of market structure? It's here. This is the first thing that I see. Uh, we we now have to change the color <coughs> dark orange was for weekly time frame and then now we go with blue color <coughs> then the blue color we will we will continue with it on the on, on daily time frame all right so i see this break of market structure here, the clean break of market structure here which does not need any debate okay uh okay what's happening with this thing yeah yeah okay so the, uh, this is a break of market of market structure here right <clears throat> and then at the break of market structure al always we look for an order block the last bearish candle here prior to the move up um that broke the structure okay all right uh let me just put this thing yeah. Okay, so the the uh, this is the uh uh where is the last where is the last bearish candle? Let's check. Uh, the the lowest where price touched before it, it be, before it moved up to break the very same structure here. This is where price touched. 8873.87 all right 8873.87 therefore we take uh, the bearish candle prior to the touch of of the lowest all right so we take the bearish candle prior to to the touch of the lowest which is this bearish candle plus this week here now we can remove the horizontal line and then also we have to we'll change the color to a visible color uh, let's check 
shaded blue yeah well, all right yeah it's clear all right so the this is the uh this is the this is the candle then this is the uh, uh, rectangle yeah, i mean uh, so we we identified on weekly time frame that price broke bearish all right so um in this instance price on daily time frame price broke bullish on a bearish move definitely we're gonna have a breakup block definitely sure 100 percent sure we're gonna have a breakup block that's what that is what is called that's what's gonna happen all right price will always get give us a breakup block when it break on an opposite direction of the current trend all right so this last bearish candle plus the week uh that is the lowest and then we 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 take the entire rectangle to our right hand side as you can see price broke this uh candle here <clears throat> okay so as you can see uh price broke the, the, the this candle okay let me move this thing back yeah yeah immediately price broke oh, oh yeah okay thank you immediately price broke price broke uh this here then we had to extend our rectangle a little bit further wait for the next candle to come and touch here as you can see this is the candle that came to touch here then boom this was the first entry okay remember we are on daily time frame i always say that we we have a risk entry and then we have the risk free entry all right um we have a risk entry and then we 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 have a risk we have a risk entry and then we have a risk free entry all right so let's extend our rectangle and see what, what's happening you see this accumulation all this accumulation happened happened inside uh this bearish candle all the is accumulation here happened inside this candle here all right so that is why we we, we have pressed and then it 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 wicked up out just a little bit and then it pushed down again all right so that's what happened and and then someone again might ask you why don't you highlight uh, the 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 small all structure above okay uh, <clears throat> this structure also was broken yeah and and then uh we will take we'll take the la the last bearish move prior to 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 the move up and then this is the last bearish candle as you all can see and then when i drag it to to my right hand side as you can see price came to me to mitigate it here and then pushed up again and then it pushed down to break this structure here okay but uh, uh my focus was not on that but it's also keep please keep note it is also important but my price uh, but my fo focus was not into that my focus was here okay so what then do we have here <coughs> okay uh okay so something is missing here because of the, okay yeah i i have it now all right as you can see during the accumulation here we see another move that happened here we see a structure formed from here okay we see another structure formed from here and then let's see what happened that structure got broken where here okay we see the a uh, uh, break of that of that mega structure right here this thing don't want to destroy it. i don't i don't know why okay <clears throat> all right oh there Th thank you okay we see another break of market structure where right there okay at the break of that structure <clears throat> we always have to take the last bearish candle right prior to the uh, prior to the 
structure prior to the move up of the structure that broke the very same structure where it started i always say this whenever you see two consecutive bearish or bullish candle on a time frame where you are when you switch to a higher time frame from where you are it's always one candle whenever you see two consecutive candles whether bearish or bullish or be, whether bearish or bullish let's say on d1 as we are now on d1 when you switch to the high time frame of where you are which is, which in this instance will be weekly time frame that will be one candle and one of the characteristics of an order block is that it must have a bigger body than the week why am i saying that i'm saying that because this is the last bearish candle covered with this bullish week here and it is a bigger week than a body it is a small body and the bigger week but the candle be uh the the, the the candle before it it has a bigger body and a small week therefore what then do we do we highlight everything from this candle here down here then let's see what what's gonna happen after the accumulation here then boom we are here again uh, uh price was broken it clear and then and then it came back again to mitigate what these candles here yeah. i will call them candles because yes they are candles but on weekly time frame this is just one candle and a week okay this is just one candle and and a week so okay let, let's see let's see let me show, show you what i'm talking about guys here yeah, it is exactly here. this is just one candle and the week here so price came came into it all right let me zoom in once as you can see price did not trade above this week here so price was was respecting the the bearish order block here all right let's go to our weekly time frame because we we are on a weekly okay so as as we can see price did not trade above this week here price did not go above this week here as as you can see the, this was the last high where price pushed up to okay and then it moved further down then hence here we had a sell to buy all right we, we we had a sell to to buy here all right we had a sell to buy and then if ever you were taking this on week or if ever you're trading this on a weekly time frame then you were right on the money then you were just right on the money then okay so after this uh rejection here happened what then do we do we see we we have this high here okay we we now have this high how this this high help us uh why is it important uh, or is it even important yeah yes it is important um when whenever we pull our our trend line further as you can see clean equal high this is clean equal lie let's not argue about it uh, this one i'm con i'm confident i i 100 sure about it this is a clean equal lie as you can see therefore always after after the equal low or equal high what do we have we have liquidity there's so much liquidity rested above this here there's so much liqui liquidity that's rested above here and this liquidity above here it confirms that uh, price then will push higher than this here okay the the liquidity above the equal high confirms and 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 gives power to to uh, gives power to the current price to push above this equal high here. so all this liquidity had to be cleared all right i hope i'm clear i hope i make some sense all right in this equal high here the uh, the structure was not broken price came down uh, to weak uh, the bullish shoulder block on weekly time frame and then it it pushed up when price was pushing up this then here is the formation of a new structure here all right and then at that formation of new structure what do we what do we have 
we then have a break of market structure. The very same structure that's currently formed there, it, it goes, it gets broken here. Okay, then at the break of market structure, what then do we have? Always we have an order block, the last bearish candle prior to the move up that broke the, the very same structure. And where, where is that candle? This is the candle, the last bearish candle. We cover it all down to here to this week here. As you can see, price uh, uh, came to reject here and then it pushed uh, it, it pushed further down. Okay, and, and then, uh, yeah, I was looking looking for something I wanted to confirm. And then the this rejection here is, uh, it's a confirmation of this last up candle here. Let's see. It's a confirmation of this last up candle here. So this the last up candle. It has imbalanced below it, and it has been engulfed by the next candle. And 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 uh, liquidity below it. Uh, it it uh, it was cleared here. Okay. So this was a very very strong uh, bearish order block here. This candle here was a very very strong OB. All right, so price uh, after it respected this order block here, it pushed down and then up again. But why do we have this rejection here? Let's again pull this rectangle further to our right, then boom, we are here. Price came to week again this week of the open of the last bearish candle before it pushed up all right price came to to respect this last candle and then it pushed up that that, that is that, that is the only reason why price price came down here and then it pushed up all right that is the only reason why price came down and pushed up all right what then do we see again remember price um gave us a failure market structure here. It symbolizes that price is now on a bullish trend. Price gave us a failure market structure here from this week here. It symbolizes that now price is on a bullish trend. Remember what I said uh, about, trading with, about trading with the trend that we have such moves uh, we see the, these things uh, happen. We, 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 we always have to be in sync with where the price is, is going, okay? Let me show you something quickly. And then we have this price coming down here and then price going up and then price coming down here and then price uh, going up and then price is now somewhere here. What then do we have to do if things are like this. This is what we have to do. After the fail of my structure, we we now go with the trend. And how do we go with with the trend? We now take the the last up candle. Okay. We 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 now take the last up candle before the formation of this structure. Not the last bearish candle prior to the move up because we are now on, on an upward trend we now take the last up candle prior to the formation of the structure that came down to mitigate this week here and then pushed up and the very same structure got broken where here okay so where that okay let me put put this thing straight straight here okay all right i tried my best guys yeah okay yeah it is is now more than straight so this is the last up candle prior to the formation of this structure that wicked uh this last bearish candle don't get confused guys don't, don't get confused please simply because we are now on a bullish move and then we are trading with the trend we do not come down here we only take this move here as our key uh candle all right so what do we then 
what do we then do we highlight this candle from the open from the close of the week because this was a bullish candle this is the close of the week down to the open of the bullish candle and then let's pull it to our right hand side as you can see price came down to to or to or respect it and then it pushed high again all right then price pushed high again as price was pushing higher we see a, another break of market structure right here remember we are trading with the trend we are trading with the trend so we do not wait for price to come down to this last bearish candle no after this break of market structure here uh, let me remove this trend line for now this is the last bullish candle right we, we, we all agree i guess this is the last bullish candle and then we highlight it after the break of market structure here we can see price came came down to weak it again and then it pushed further up and then we have this rejection here we have this rejection here all right okay before i get to that i wanted to show you how you will have cashed these moves here and how you would have cashed this entry here and this entry here and then if ever your 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 entry was on this last bearish candle here then you would have lost money hence it is important to always know the direction 